Well, the saying is a cat has nine lives, but a little kitten who just started his scared a whole street on Staten Island half to death. He got stuck in a storm drain and it took a community, the cops, a crane, even News Copter 7 to save the day. I went to news reporter Anthony Carlo with a dramatic rescue. That meow got the attention of just about everyone on this quiet Staten Island block. I'm like, what's happening? What's the matter? And they're like, there's a kitten in here. And I'm like, no. A stray kitten, comfy in its crate now, had been stuck several feet below the ground Wednesday afternoon in this storm drain. He was scared yeah. and he was nervous, you know, yeah. but he was okay. Lucille and Karen spent four hours in the baking sun with their neighbors trying to rescue the precious, frightened animal, phoning every city agency they could think of. And I told him, if I have to stick my leg in that sewer and break it for someone to come here, that's what I'm going to do. And he was like, well, I don't suggest that. I'm like, I know you don't, but if that's what it takes, that's what's going to happen. I said, because I'm not giving up on this cat. Neighbors grabbed anything they could get their hands on to try to get that kitten out of the storm drain. A shopping bag, a hose, a fishing net. And then they dialed the Eyewitness News assignment desk. Seven on your side. Newscopter 7 documented the valiant neighborhood rescue effort in the 4 o'clock news and was overhead when both DEP and the NYPD responded to lift the grate and pull the cat out with a net. We got, got to carry the kitchen sink in those trucks, so you never know. Lucille told Detective Niece to raise the kitten high, a triumphant moment rivaled only by the Lion King. We yelled and screamed, that's what we did. I'm born and raised in Staten Island, so being able to help out the neighbors and the island, it's, it's, a, nice, uh, it's a nice feeling. But no, the kitten's name is not Simba, it's Thomas, after the street he was found on and where his new adoptive parents live. On Staten Island, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. I mean, I mean, a true circle of life right there. I mean, that's just incredible. I mean, I hope Thomas is cozy and is crazy tonight, and I know it went through a tough time, but what a neighborhood he moved into, right? right? I mean, what great people there. Just a group effort. That's just amazing. Great awesome. stuff.